Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Klein Badland Pro Pants. These are uh, really awesome pants. They're like for all your riding. Uh, for cold weather, they're really good. And they have a few ventilation pockets in them. So I'll show you what they're like in case you haven't seen them or you're looking for a new pair of adventure riding pants. So here are the Klein Badlands pants. The Pro, the Pro Badlands pants from Gore-Tex. And you can see in the tag, they're size 32 tall because I have a 36 inch inseam. Uh, they come in regular sizes too, like a 32 regular, which is a, a lot, um, about $40 cheaper, I think it is. Um, so these are the Badlands Pro pants. They go with the Klein Badlands um, jacket. Uh, if you haven't seen my video on the jacket, I'll post it up in the corner and you can check that out. Um, but this, these pants are loaded with everything. I got the Climatex Cool Climb inside, which is like a mesh lining. Um, so it keeps you nice and cool and wicks the moisture off your um, skin when you're riding and it's a hot day. You also got the reinforced knee um, material. You got the Climb uh, name everywhere. You got the logo. Definitely want you to know it's climb, climb stuff. <laughs> uh, you got the interior, which is like a leather patch so you don't wear, wear out the interior when you're squeezing the tank. Um, these are brand spanking new. Um, here's one of the air vents. So let me move all these tags out of here. So this one's a big one for when you're sitting down so the air comes in. And you can see, I don't know if you can see the orange, which is a D3O armor that's in it. So you got the D3O armors on the hips. I'll have to show you the part in the back. And then you got the D3O in the, in the knees. Um, so like I said, we got the air vent on this side. And we got the other air vent on this side. And then, the, then we got the Scotchlight reflective patches. So we got the Scotchlight reflective patches. And uh, here's the pocket in case you need to put um, cash or anything. And they're pretty deep, the pockets. Uh, you have another one on this side too. And more reflective. You got the other pocket in here, the deep pocket, and it's reflective. And you got the two buttons that keep them closed up up there. And you got the zipper. And you got the, it's a, the little like divider in and out, whatever that's called. But you got the zipper and the two snap buttons. And on the other side, you have Velcro to adjust it. So in case uh, you've gained a little bit of weight or uh, you've lost some weight like I have. Everything's really big on me. I stopped eating sugar and I'm lo I've lost 19 pounds already. I'm gonna go over the back. So you have another um, climb logo there. And here's the zipper. So you unzip this and then you can zip it to the Badlands uh, jacket. Uh, and it, it just becomes like one big suit if, uh, as long as you zip it together. Um, you have the, another Scotchlight reflective patch right there. And then here are the back thigh um, air vents. So it uh, allows a lot of airflow through them. Got one on each side. One on each side. And then we have adjustments. So in case they're a little uh, too big, you have the skinny legs. You have an adjustment on both sides. And then you got more uh, reflective on the bottom. And I'll show you about the back, the adjustment. So you got three sizes to adjust. And then you got the zipper to make it easier to put over your boots. So it, it's a very uh, a tailored uh, pants so you can make it tighter down at the bottom. So in case you have skinny legs make it a lot smaller. I actually like my, my pants baggy, so I keep them a lot bigger. These are definitely 
worth the buy, I'll tell you that. They're very comfortable pants and they're good for long trips in case you're going on a trip and you might get wet or even if you're going on an adventure to Africa or uh, somewhere in whatever state you live in or country. So I want to show you some of the D3O armor in it. So this one is like right on your tailbone. This part right here. And like I said, you have the hips on both sides. And then you got the knee armor like usual. If you've never worn a pair of pants with the tailbone protection, it gets a little, it takes a little getting used to because it just feels weird to have that protection pushing on the uh, bottom of your back. It, it's a weird feeling, but it, it makes you feel a lot safer, especially if you would go on a slide. So it's definitely a thing to climb uh, thought about or maybe tested someone threw themselves and <laughs> messed up the tailbone. So definitely it's a good, good uh, add on for these pants. So we're gonna get these pants on and we're gonna go for a ride and I'll tell you what they feel like um, while riding with them. All right, see you soon guys. Yeah, when riding with these pants on, they're so comfortable. I mean, the airflow when you open the air vents is, is really good. Um, and the mesh lining inside, they feel like their own pair of pants. And then the outer shell, they protect you in the, um, the rainfall and water in case you drop your beer on you while riding. I mean, that's up to you guys. I don't um, drink and ride. But yeah, it protects you. And they're really comfortable, especially with... Um, the Climb Badlands uh, jacket connected to them and the Climb uh, Outlander boots. I mean, it's all, it feels really comfortable and I feel really safe and protected. Like I was wearing an armored uh, suit. Yeah, so this is what it looks like when it's all connected with the um, Climb Badlands jacket and the pants. And the knee pads stay where they're supposed to. The only thing you gotta get used to is the, is the tailbone protector, which is like, you gotta get used to it if you're not used to riding with it. But they're pretty comfortable pants. And you can see what they look like uh, when you're on the bike. So the knee pads are right where they were at. Yeah, I don't even have to move them up or down. They're right in the right position. And they feel pretty comfortable after a really long ride that we had. And, and with, the, with the Climb uh, Outlander boots and the Climb Batman jacket it all goes together and it works really well all integrated together there you have it guys um like with a lot of climb uh, jackets and pants they have um gear protection a guarantee so it's in, within the first five years if you get in an accident um get a police report um and submit it to climb and they'll review your case and then they'll issue you a new pair of pants or jacket or um but that's a pretty awesome incentive to buying their products. They are a little pricey, but they are um, guaranteed. They also have lifetime guarantee for um, any um, defects in workmanship, like the zippers breaking, um, ripping apart by itself, or the stitching coming apart. So, I mean, client products are, are awesome. They're really good products. I would definitely um, tell you to invest in them. Um, like there isn't many other products on the market from other companies that have lifetime guarantee or even a five year guarantee in case of an accident. Yeah, if I were you, I'd definitely invest in, in climb gear. I mean, the Badlands and jacket and pants are super expensive. Um, so are the Kodiaks and then the climb adventure um, uh, jacket and pants. I mean, a lot of, even their stuff that's a lower price isn't too cheap, but you know, you're, you're getting what you pay for and they're definitely uh, testing all this gear it's definitely good buys hopefully i gave you enough information in this video that make you want to purchase the pants or even um, check them out in person go to your local climb dealer and check them out if you guys like this video please uh like and subscribe and thanks for watching